India on Wednesday successfully test fired a Rudram 2 air to surface missile from a Su-30 fighter jet of the Indian Air Force off the coast of Odisha. Rudram 2 is an indigenously developed solid propelled air launched missile system meant for air to surface role to neutralize several types of enemy assets. A number of state of the art indigenous technologies developed by various DRDO laboratories have been incorporated in the missile system. The flight test met all the trial objectives validating the propulsion system and control and guidance algorithm. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. The ministry said the performance of the missile has been validated from the flight data captured by range tracking instruments like electro-optical systems, radar and telemetry stations deployed at various locations, including the onboard ship. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh congratulated the DRDO, the Indian Air Force and the industry on the successful test flight of Rudram 2. The successful test has consolidated the role of Rudram 2 system as a force multiplier to the armed forces. An indigenously developed solid propelled air launched missile system, Rudram 2 is one of the finest and meant to neutralize many types of enemy assets. India currently operates the Russian KH-31, an anti-radiation missile. The Rudram missiles will replace the KH-31s, offering enhanced capabilities and reliability. The missile can be launched from a range of altitudes and can pick up enemy radio frequencies and signals from radars from a range of over 100 kilometers. The missile can operate in lock-on before and lock-on after launch systems. The internal guidance system of the missile allows it to direct itself towards the target after the launch. The Rudram missile is the first domestically developed anti-radiation missile designed to target enemy ground radars, surveillance tracking and communication stations in suppression of enemy air defense missions. The Rudram 2 represents the latest version following the testing of the Mark 1 version 4 years ago by the Su-30 MKI, which serves as the backbone of India's fighter fleet. The successful test launch of the Rudram 2 from a Sukhoi Su-30 MKI fighter jet marks a significant milestone in India's quest to enhance its aerial strike capabilities and strengthen its deterrence posture. By integrating such advanced air-launched weapons into its fleet, the Indian Air Force can effectively disrupt enemy air defense networks, providing greater protection for its own aircraft and enhancing the success of its missions. Rudram 2 is a hypersonic aeroballistic air-to-surface missile being developed by DRTO. The missile has a solid rocket motor for propulsion with a range of 50 to 300 kilometers. The missile will have peak speed of 5.5 mark, that is hypersonic. The missile will have two variants for different roles, that is anti-radiation missile and ground attack. The missile can be sent to annihilate the enemy RAR positions from an altitude of 3 to 15 kilometers with a payload of 200 kilograms. Rudram 2's capability has been enhanced with addition of imaging infrared IIR seeker. With IIR and passive homing head working in tandem, enables Rudram 2 to easily attack enemy bunkers, air bases, arms and ammunition depots, aircraft hangars, etc. in addition to attacking radiation emitting targets. Overall, the Rudram 2 represents a significant addition to India's air-launched arsenal, providing the Indian Air Force with a potent tool to neutralize enemy air defenses and enhance its operational capabilities. As India continues to modernize its armed forces and invest in cutting-edge defense technology, the Rudram 2 stands out as a testament to the country's commitment to maintaining a credible defense posture and safeguarding its national security interests. Jai Hind!